Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance was on the warpath today. And, well, Jake Tapper, he was in that path. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, Please check that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. When you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. J.D. Vance appeared on CNN. And you know, this entire campaign, he's done so many of these interviews in the lion's den, CNN, NBC, CBS, all the places, ABC, all the places Republicans usually are terrified to go. And he did it, and he's been really magnificent. I I walked away truly impressed with J.D. Vance as a candidate. This is somebody who was not on my radar for the vice presidential pick. Anybody who watches this channel knows I'm a Tim Scott guy. Still love Tim Scott. Want to see him as president someday. Just, he's that's my guy, okay? That being said, J.D. Vance has been masterful in wiping out these liberal talking points with a smile on his face and nice and calmly. But today, today he was a little less calm. Today, he tore into Jake Tapper, the number one anchor at CNN, and a guy I think is usually pretty fair. But, he, look, he was trying to protect his network, and, well, J.D. Vance, he tore him to shreds. I want you to watch this, and then let me know what you think in the comments. Ask yourself a basic question about network integrity. You guys talked about the Russia hoax nonstop. The FBI was investigating talked, it. The FBI talked, was investigating it, and we, so, we, so we recovered them. And so you took the words of unnamed FBI agents and put them on your network as if they were the gospel truth. You did it again and again. A viewer of your network would have believed that Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin conspired in 2016. No. That was totally and preposterously false. No. Well, that's, what you just that's said why. is false. We covered an FBI investigation. I don't know why you want to talk about the FBI investigation. You covered it in a way that gave credence to anonymous sources, accusations. You did it yourself. Your network did it, Jake. But again, can we talk about the issues that Americans care most about? I'm talking about? about things that Donald Trump has said. Yes. If you have an, an issue Kamala with Harris. whether or not he's talking about the economy enough, that's between you and your running mate. I'm talking about things he has said this week. Every single rally that he does, he talks about how he wants to unleash American energy so we can lo lower the cost of groceries. He talks about the fact that housing has become unaffordable. He talks about the wide open border, Jake. Kamala Harris and her allies, you know, it's interesting. Kamala Harris and her media allies, and I would put CNN in this category, you guys, they would. You guys seem I'll to care. I'll tell you that. They wouldn't. Well, they should watch your network more because you guys seem to care more about Donald Trump's past than the future of the American people. We're running this campaign on making of the American dream. I'm specifically affordable. asking about how Donald Trump is going to be president in the future should he win. And then we're being told we're, he's going to pursue economic policies that lower the cost of groceries and make life more affordable again. He talks about it every single day on the campaign trail, and so do I. What you're talking about is is a, an anonymously sourced story or one guy Nothing who anonymously sourced. or who Zero one guy cent. one guy who is a disgruntled employee I told where you, five ten, other ten people, people five other people. people push back against him and said that what he said was dishonest so why don't we talk about the policy that's affecting american citizens and not what donald trump allegedly said according to one guy who's pissed off cuz he got fired by donald trump 